Welcome back. It is the debate that seems to have no middle ground. If you're born a man, should you be able to change your gender on your birth certificate because you say you live as a woman? Some say no way. The way you're born is the way you are. Others say gender goes deeper than what's seen on the surface of your skin. Either way, a bill that would make a sex change on paper possible is just a signature away from becoming law. And KITV 4's Brenton Awa has our top story at 10:30. When it comes to gender equality, being able to make a sex change on a birth certificate is what some in the transgender community believe is long overdue. From time of birth, when that gender was put on top of their birth certificate, male or female, and it doesn't match and how they present, to me that is a lie because your document is not matching who you really are as a person. A bill that's already been passed by lawmakers would make it easier for transgendered people to change the way they were born on paper. But some say the bill has flaws. It uh, begs a lot of questions, and we should have done more research, except uh, Hawaii seems to be hell bent on making changes based on sexual orientation. Senator Sam Sloan says everyone's born as a man or a woman, and if this becomes law, Hawaii could see a number of unintended consequences. If somebody changes their official birth record and this information is deemed private and sealed, if we're doing background checks on people to find out, for example, if uh, they were a sex offender, if they had any problems in, in that area, you would not be able to find out about it. Another question, how this could affect schools. It's probably going to affect over a thousand people in Hawaii, probably more than that. Yeah, it definitely um, it's going to affect a lot of our students in school because they, um, they removed the surgery requirement. Now ki um, parents can um, correct the gender on their, on their children's birth certificates. If that leaves you wondering about athletics in school and how that all plays out, we're told that's a Title IX issue and the law already allows for transgender students to play on the team whose sex they identify with. So you could have a person who was born as a male playing on a female team and vice versa. Back to you.